everybody and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. It's May 21st, 2021 and we're here at the grand reopening of Knott's Berry Farm. They're celebrating their 100th year and we're excited to, to ride all the rides, try some new food, see some new characters. Yeah, and they're also starting up with their summer nights, which is a fun thing that they do here during the weekends, during summer, so we're gonna check that out as well. Yes, the family, family reunion party has started. Come with us on this adventure. <laughs> So they have dramatically changed the entrance for Knott's Berry Farm. They have painted it in boysenberry colors. They're celebrating the 100th anniversary with a boy <laughs> a rotating boysenberry. Yeah, it's so cool. This is something they used to have, the water coming down like a waterfall. Yeah, I want to just like go under there and like reach my hands in there, but I don't think we're supposed to. Yeah, they put a fence <laughs> around it. I think in normal times, back in the day, kids would just run underneath it when they got here. Yeah, I think the coolest thing though is they made a recreation of the original Knott's Berry Farm stand that they used to have here selling all sorts of fruits and berries and all the good stuff. Yeah, if you didn't know, Knott's Berry Farm didn't start as a theme park. It started actually as a berry farm. Yeah. And this is the, a replica of the actual berry farm that started everything. At Calico Tater Bites, they serve a bunch of different dishes with tater tots, with everything you can imagine on top. There were so many different selections to choose from, but the one that we decided to get was the buffalo chicken tender tots. This has chicken tenders tossed in a buffalo sauce and a drizzle of ranch dressing. The ranch is what sold me. <laughs> <laughs> but we actually used our dining plan for this. This was about $10 or so without the dining plan, but it was free for us because we used that amazing dining plan. And this is a huge portion. I was not expecting it to be this much. Yeah, I will say that it doesn't look like the tenders <laughs> were tossed in buffalo. Yeah. It seems like they just Drizzled on top. Yeah, so I wish they were tossed in buffalo. I need to get a bite with a tot and a tender and a buffalo sauce and ranch. Ooh, this is good. Look at that. Wow, this is surprisingly good. I do agree though, it does need the more buffalo sauce. I could already tell that I'm not gonna be satisfied with them out on there. But what makes this good is it has those classic theme park chicken tenders, which you know and you love. This is really, really good. I'm pleasantly surprised and I'm very happy with my choice of using the dining plan for these tots. They probably get like a four and a half out of five. I definitely get them again, just, you know, next time ask for more buffalo sauce. Yeah, they had more <laughs> buffalo sauce, but they get a five? Probably. How do I look? You, you look, look good. You look very good. Okay. Yeah. yeah our, <laughs> our good friend, the mayor, says thank you for giving him a day off today. I know, I can <laughs> he's been up here forever and ever. Somebody yeah. else had to do it. He let us know that you were gonna be here today That's and he right. wanted to Yep, come, yep. come say hello. Well, that's great. <laughs> yeah, he, you know, he, he was a little tired. He's, yeah, he, he, needs busy. A, he needs a day off. He was busy last night being mayor and stuff. So, <laughs> so well, I said I'd do it for him. It was so nice chatting with you. You too. Good, good, good seeing you. you. You too. Have a good day. You too. Enjoy. <laughs> We're going to go find Whittles now. They're doing some interesting things here this year. Like originally Knott's had a mascot. Nat Knott's had their own Mickey Mouse. It was this prospector. His name was Whittles. He had a donkey. They had a character in the parks, scared little kids. So they got rid of him. He's kind of fallen to the wayside, but they have now brought him back in a new art in incarnation. This one doesn't scare kids, hopefully. <laughs> and we're gonna go see him right now. Let's go find Whittles. Any kind of new character I get very excited for. They have this whole little area for him. It looks like he's camping out. He's got a tent. He's got, you know, his his pot, and his, most importantly, his, his whiskey down there. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Look at this big backpack. I know. <laughs> so nice to meet you. I'm glad that you're finally back. Yes, it's been a, such a long time, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you said he's, he's happy to be back. Yeah. <laughs> Did you find anything interesting on your travels? No? <laughs> no, no, but he's been looking. Yeah. I love your belt. Oh, We're, yeah. we got to be able to buy one of those belts one of these days. Saying thank you. Yes, really <laughs> Let's try to enjoy it. Can I see what's on your, your backpack? That's what he's gonna give you, yeah. Oh my god, what? yeah, you got some burrow bites. Burrow bites? <laughs> That's so funny. Dynamite for some reason. Yeah, why do you have the dynamite? What, are you blowing stuff up? Oh, that's right, he's a prospector, so you know, you gotta have the dynamite in here. Yeah. Gotta find those ores and precious gems. That is true, that is true. All right, let's pose 
Jordan went off! Went off! Whittles! It's Whittles! Okay, now that we've met Whittles, it's time for us to go on a ride. Maybe a ride on the mine train? Yeah! Because, you know, that's what Whittles would want. He's a miner. So let's go check out that ride. It's one of our favorites. I'm so excited. I'm taking a picture. <laughs> it's not a picture, it's a video. Oh, it's a video? Oh, great. We're innocent, okay? Nothing's happening, I swear. All right. Wait, are you part of that Mayfield? Well, you know what? Uh, after after uh, some uh, a rough year, you know, I, I decided to, to go back to my roots and start making Robin Banks again. But oh, not today, nice. I swear. That's nice. I'm happy for you. Congrats. Oh, yeah, of course. That's exciting. Besides, you ain't got $50. At last count, we, you and me, had exactly zero dollars. <laughs> oh, now, don't be sore, Wes, just because I thought of it first. Citizens arrest. social distancing is we get our entire mine car to ourselves. Normally these are like jam-packed like sardines and you're like uncomfortable in here. Remember, one stray spark and we'll all get blasted to kingdom come. That is one of my absolute favorite rides at any theme park. <laughs> I don't know why it's just so relaxing and like it's so well done. Like I don't understand where those caves are like they're it just keeps going and going and going yeah. and it's some of the creepiest animatronics <laughs> ever <laughs> But you, this was built in 1960. I know. So that's so, like what, five years after Disneyland? Yeah, this is a very old ride. It's a classic. But you get so close to the, the creepy animatronics, like they look real. <laughs> and every time I go in there, I just think like, oh my God, I would hate to like be in here at night, like by myself, because it's so scary. But then another one of my favorite parts is when you go through like the slagmites and yeah. they're all like colorful and it plays like that really haunting sound. <laughs> That, that first room with the mist, so like humid in there. Yeah, I feel like they, they did some refurbishments to this and it looks even better than it did before because I don't remember it being that misty in there. Yeah. But if, it really does feel like you're in a real mine, which is like so crazy. And we made it out just in time. The whole place was about to blow thanks to Whittles and his dynamite over there. But we made it out just in time, so. Another successful ride. Kitra had her buffalo tots, and now it's my turn. So we went to Boardwalk Barbecue, and that's where we got the teriyaki plank steak. But honestly, that's not why I got this dish. I got this dish because I wanted the side, which is the hot Cheetos mac and cheese, <laughs> which could either be amazing or horrible, but I'm here for it. So let's first start with the plank steak. <laughs> Cutting into it is not easy, so that's maybe a bad sign. The teriyaki sauce is, is sweet and it tastes very good. The steak is a little chewy. But honestly, like I said, this is not why I got this. I, I want to try this right here. The Hot Cheetos Mac and Cheese. Look at the color. I'm actually surprised this just tastes like mac and cheese. It's good. Actually, I, I feel like it's growing on me. As the, you know, the spiciness kind of like lingers in my mouth. It's growing a little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna give it three and a half out of five. Are we going on that next? <laughs> you can go on that by yourself if you want to. I fully support you, whatever decision you want to make. <laughs> this is more my speed. Just a slow ascent into the heavens. I don't need any of that nonsense over there. <laughs>
far scarier <laughs> for up so high, but it was really nice. Yeah, and it's good that they have EC coming yeah. up right here. I was just gonna say that it's nice and cool in here. I would recommend this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. It was relaxing. You got out of the heat. You got some views. <laughs> I dug it. One of the really fun things that they're doing for the 100th celebration is they have these photo ops scattered all throughout the park showing some of the iconic Knott's Berry Farm rides that used to be here. So for instance, this one is of the Sky Jump and it is now the Sky Cabin, which is what we just went in. Can you just imagine going up that high, as high as we just were, but just in a little cage with like a little parachute? That must have been terrifying. It looks so scary. Uh, it would have been awesome. Bring it back, Knott's, bring it back. I want to go on it. <laughs> so where Berry Tales is now, there used to be this attraction called Kingdom of the, of the Dinosaurs. I never got to go on it. It looks amazing. But one of the photo ops they have here celebrating the 100th anniversary is for Kingdom of the Dinosaurs. It has a big T-Rex and a time machine, and it is incredible. <laughs> I'm just having a good time today, okay? If there's nobody at this photo op, take all the selfies you want with this dinosaur. We're waiting up here for the Knott's uh, fairy tale. Look who comes out on the trolley car, the old trolley car. Yeah, that doesn't exist here anymore. It's a boys and bear himself in the flesh. <laughs> I thought he was at the, the fair and very cool. Well, apparently he came back from the fair. Well, we'll have to see if he's still there when we get out of the ride. The yeah. ride keeps breaking down. So. Yeah, the ride broke down again. Every single time we've been in line for this ride, it breaks down. I don't know what's going on. Too many boysenberry pies in there. Not enough time. This time I'm excited to get to ride this without having to film it. Because I get to I get to actually play the game and see who wins. It's going to be me or Ketto. <laughs> Who's gonna win this time? I'm gonna win. I still don't know what we're supposed to be shooting at, so. Is it the pies? Is it the coyotes? I still think I'm gonna win. Look at who got best of the last game. That is me. Do you see Ketcher on there anywhere? It, Actually, it, it, I, I kind of see you there. Yeah, that's my arm. I've got second. Oh my god, I've been waiting. I've been waiting all day to meet them. Hi guys! How's it going? You guys are so cute. I love your outfits. We were just shooting pies at you guys. Yeah, but don't worry. We didn't We didn't hit you. I didn't do very well on the ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I saw your cute little faces and I was like, we can't be shooting our berries at them. No way. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I know, look at his little tongue. <laughs> Can you guys do a, a spin for me? I want to see your cute little butts. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. It was so nice meeting you both. <laughs> They're so cute. I love it. And I think this might have been where the original trolley stop was. And you can see here was the line that went all the way around the park. They need to bring back the trolley. But you can see behind them, they painted. They painted the, the trolley. Oh yeah, hey guys. <laughs> I was just trying to show the, the backdrop. I know, you got like nervous. You were like trying to show it and then you're like, oh, they're watching me. Oh no. They know that we were She's shooting at this. <laughs> I decided to go into one of the stores to see if there's any new merchandise. I found these bottle openers. I like these because they open the bottle and it has that boysenberry <laughs> juice like you know, it's on the crates and stuff. But this is the one I wanted to show you because it has our, our favorite prospector. Littles! And that t-shirts with like a more classical 100th anniversary logo. This feels like something my dad would wear. <laughs> but you know what? Dads need to wear stuff too, right? Oh, look at this plate. <laughs> Do you actually eat off this plate or is this like no, a collector's? No, I think, that, I think that's, a, that's a collector's item. Although I would eat off of it. One of my favorite things at Knott's is they offer a refillable soda and drink plan, which means if you pay for this every 15 minutes, you can get more soda. <laughs> and I just saw over here, look at this, they got 
I, I can take my my refillable thing and I can I can uh, gloss it up. Okay, you need that. Look at that! It goes right over the straw. <laughs> and now, oh, oh, look at that! Oh my god! I don't know how. I don't know. Am I the coolest person ever if I walk around if I drink? <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Are you? <laughs> I'm totally getting it. <laughs> hey. Look at this, they even have a place. I'm not sure if you see this. This bottle belongs to... I could put like Peter, or I could put Ordinary Adventures or something. Uh -huh. What about a pendant? This is actually kind of cool. Yeah. You know? We need it all. Look at this, oh my god. This one you actually need. I actually kind of like that a lot. I like Ooh. that it's, it's, it's shiny. Nice. Yeah. It should be purple on the inside. Yeah. I've devised my own concoction here. First, you get some ice, because you need some ice, right? And then you get some Coke Zero. You get some non-sugar-free boysenberry punch. And then you finish it off with... Oh my Coke God! Zero. Then you got yourself some boysenberry Coke Zero. Is it the best Coke Zero of all time? I'll let you know. Is it good? <laughs> That's how you do it. So if you come to Knott's, mostly Coke Zero. I'd say like 90% Coke Zero and then 10% of the boysenberry punch. Peter, you're a genius. <laughs> a genius, I tell you. You got this and then you make your drink. What are you going to be up to next? That first hug was warm and real and the thing I've looked forward to every day since. You're my best friend, Snoopy. <laughs> Is that how you felt about Gizmo? <laughs> yeah. He's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. You're both my best friend. What about Pixel? Where's Pixel? And Pixel too. <laughs> I love how they have the decorations everywhere. Everywhere is decked out. Oh wow. Those actually say knots. I would have never noticed that. Like I would have just walked under it never seen it if you didn't stop to look at it. It's cool. Sometimes you gotta stop and look at the, the roses. Yep. <laughs> In the 1960s, Knott's had Tom Kemeny's puppet theater, which is like the small cart. Ever since they've been, they have a legacy of bringing puppeteers here. Like they had Puppet Up from Brian Henson last year. And this year, they have Bob Barker's Marionette Theater performing in Fiesta Village. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's going higher, it's going higher. Oh my god, there's, oh my god, there's, oh! On top of that roof, there's a flip-flop and a hat. A flip-flop and a hat! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm flying! Oh yeah. If I brought the 360 camera up here, for sure, everybody would be throwing up. Because, <laughs> it's very, I'm going very fast. <laughs> Don't recommend this. <laughs> I don't feel that dizzy. I'm okay. Not only is it the grand reopening of Knott's Berry Farm, but it's also the return of summer nights. This is something that Knott's does every summer. It's kind of like a block party over in the boardwalk area. 
and they have food booths. It's kind of like a mini taste of knots in that respect. There's live entertainment, like there's bands on the stage, there's activities to do, there's DJs. It's just like a rocking time. And uh, we've eaten a lot for today, so I think we're gonna return at a later date and actually try to eat everything at the festival. But last night, we were there for the grand reopening like ceremony and stuff. We want to show you the footage of that, but we also did get to eat some of the stuff from Summer Nights. So check out the footage right now. Good thing there's so many people behind me. Nobody's watching, hopefully. Are they watching? No. One of the last living knots is here, Stephen Knott, and people are freaking out. Everybody wants this photo, everybody wants a handshake. <laughs> it's almost as if like Walt Disney had walked onto Main Street today and like people are like all, I don't know, it's funny. It's Walter Knott's grandson. It's Terry Crews and I want to congratulate Knott's Berry Farm on your 100th anniversary celebration. Hey Vanessa Hudgens here and I just wanted to say happy 100th anniversary Knott's Berry Farm. 100 years, that's incredible. The log ride and having one of my first girlfriends getting to sit with me in the log ride. That was the move back in the day. Great, great memories. And then of course, not scary <laughs> farm. So I can go on. Hi, it's Tori Spelling here. And I am here to wish Knott's Berry Farm a happy 100th anniversary. Welcome to Knott's Berry Farm's 100th anniversary celebration. And to start the festivities off right, please give a rip roaring round of applause. that traveled here tonight via stagecoach or pony to celebrate a milestone unlike any other. A feat so few ever achieve. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, I am speaking about the Knott's Berry Farm Centennial Celebration! <laughs> 100 years of good food, happy memories, and old time adventures. <laughs> boysenberry, chocolate chip, or confetti. And I chose boysenberry, of course, because we're at Knott's Berry Farm, but look at how cute this is. Wow. Oh my God. I forgot that it wasn't ice cream. <laughs> I took like a big bite of it. This is so good. Oh, this is gonna make me sick though. This literally just tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough, minus the chocolate chips just throw in some fresh boysenberries, mix it together, and put some sprinkles on top. Wow, this is good. Five out of five, Kitras. The, night, the night's starting off strong. I wanna try all the different flavors now. It doesn't quite taste like cookie dough, it tastes like a little bit more fluffier, almost like cake batter. Oh yeah. Cake batter? Like almost like frosting. Oh yeah, you're right. I can have the rest of those, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> At Coaster's Drive-In, they have a breaded chicken burger on a glazed donut with cheese and bacon. 
I got mine without the cheese. Look at this. Look at how insane this is. It looks like something you'd order at a county fair. Okay, here goes. I just gotta say, you look really beautiful right now. Thank you. <laughs> it's exactly like what you think it would taste like. The biting through the donuts is like this immediate jolt of like sugar. Oh boy. And then you hit the like the bacon and the fried chicken. And it's actually really good. It's better than you'd think it would be. Really messy. These are like Krispy Kreme. Like they're that glaze. They're covered in glaze. Okay, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Yeah. Wow, really? I was gonna give it a four and a half, but this is really good. <laughs> Look at the in the cross section there. I mean, it looks pretty amazing. How crazy. <laughs> You know how you were asking me about the K? Well, they replaced it. This is the old one right here. Oh! That's the actual one? Yeah. I think they replaced it with LEDs and stuff. This is like the old one. Oh, that's so cool! I just thought that was a fun photo op. I mean, it is a fun photo op, yeah. but... Wow. The new K is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a photo in front of it because your name starts with K. Oh my god! My whole life, I've been waiting for this moment. Back when Disney California Adventure had those letters in front of it, there was never a K. <laughs> and all my friends got to take their picture in front of their letter. And I never got to. So let's, let's get over there. Now's your time. Yeah, now's my time to shine. Yeah, it's, it's only your time. No one else. Exactly. No other, no other letter. Nobody else here has a, a name that starts with a K. I just meant no other letter. Yeah. Yeah, that too. You don't even fit into the... K. Over at the Boardwalk Barbecue, I got myself the pooled chicken sandwich with island sauce, mac and cheese on a brioche bun. Just watching them make this look, I don't know. How can you top the the donut chicken sandwich? You top it with mac and cheese. I don't know like what I was thinking when I read the description, but it definitely wasn't this. <laughs> Whatever this island sauce is on top actually smells really, really good, but I have no clue what it is. Okay, the question is, can you can you even pick that up? Thankfully, you got napkins and you got forks. Because <laughs> we're going to need them. Because this... They gave it to me in a bowl. <laughs> okay, let's see you try to pick oh, this up. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Someone's going to fall out. That's just how it goes, okay? Okay, go. Cheers. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> is that good? You're only dropping a little bit of the mac and cheese. It's fine. It just tastes like delicious mac and cheese. Whatever island sauce is. This is like a carb overload and I'm here for it. Maybe like a four and a half out of five. If the mac and cheese was warm, it would get a five. But this is really fun. I mean, kids and adults will like it. And try not to spill any outside of the bowl. The straw says not 100th anniversary and it's got boysenberries on it. Can you see that? Yeah. How freaking fun is that? I was not expecting that when I took my straw out. Wow. That's so, like, honestly, I'm very impressed by that. Yeah. Is that strange? Knott's has gone all out for this 100th year anniversary. I know, wow. Spending all their money on yeah. straws and new K's. It only happens once every 100 years. That is true. So you gotta go big, baby. You gotta go big to wash this all down we got the mango lime aqua fresca this is really good is this what mangoes taste like it's been a really long time since i've had a mango i was confused i don't really taste the lime that much i'm honestly shocked <laughs> like, by how good this is i know it looks like so basic it doesn't look like there'd be that much flavor in there but this is like it tastes like i'm drinking like a mango popsicle that's been melted down and put ice in it i know that sounds strange Five out of five. So one of the classic attractions here at Knott's was the Wacky Soapbox Racers. And they have this cool photo op where you can, you and your friends can be in soapbox cars. <laughs> oh.
famous Knott's attractions was the Haunted Shack. It's like one of those roadside attractions, like the mystery spot. I never got to experience it, but they have a photo op that's based on it, and we're gonna see how crazy things can get. Okay, so we go, go to that corner. And switch. Okay, we're gonna go to the corner. I don't know what's going on, but I somehow ended up with a gigantic Fun bun. It's called the super fun bun. The super fun bun. And this is like 15 pounds. Bigger than my head. Yeah, and it's thick. Look at the thick <laughs> thickness on there. It's like a pumpkin. Yeah. Well, this is crazy. Every night they do a special lighting ceremony, and it's about that time, so let's check it out. We're definitely going to come back to Knott's to try all the food at the summer nights. So subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Yeah. <laughs> and I, we're going to put a video to our return to Knott's Ferry Farm right over there. So if you haven't seen that, we did some amazing stuff that day. Yeah, it's so much fun today. What a great day. Yeah, I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Alara and Scott, Don Babcock, Tiffany Lopez, and Alyssa and Jordan Grubbs. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.